Uh, hey guys, um, the microphone's in a different position. In fact, it's even on a completely different mount. Um, not because of anything fancy, not because the mount's broken or anything. It's just I wanted to try a different micro microphone position. Um, <laughs> I really don't know how to. I do. I do know how to start this video. I'm going to start this video with a hey hey guys welcome back to the channel it is alas it is a Monday therefore it's coffee time with COVID time so we do have a cup of coffee here and oh I do have a few things I need to talk about and some of this is hard to talk about and some of this is easy so you've got to understand that I'm not purposefully trying to be odd but um, a couple of weeks ago now almost two weeks ago I had keyhole surgery on my stomach and had some uh, masses removed um, and I've been struggling help, you know, to get things done this is why the place looks like a complete mess it's in the process of getting sorted out. It's also why I've put on a lot of bloomed up weight kind of thing, and I am in the process of losing that. I have got some drinks. Oh, I'm taking some vitamins and a few other things, magnesium and a few other things to help me with that as well. But I want to thank all of my subscribers that have recently shown up um i don't know what happened i looked at my subscribers and i barely etched 490 something i looked again yesterday i'm at 530 something um let me double double check um it's it's been a hot minute and i don't normally look at my subscriber count um to me my subscriber count is let's pause that I'm currently at where am I at 527 subscribers guys thank you thank you all 527 of you I know that seems like such a random thing but it's not to me to me it means everything um and I do mean that. It means everything to me. Because I've come to realize that I am not everyone's cup of tea. And I don't want to be everyone's cup of tea. Because I'm, I'm coffee. You know what I mean? And at the same time, yes, losing my Twitch, my, losing my original Twitch channel and forcing me to stream on other platforms like Kick and YouTube did hurt. But I am back on Twitch, not on the Deceptive Cobra channel. That is dead and buried. There's no way I'm getting that channel back, and there's no way I would like to get that channel back. That is my past. I'm looking forward. My current channel is Aces and Eights. I will post a link in the video description. Now, the reason why I, and this is the thing, that original channel was just called Deceptive Snake. I've changed it to Aces and Eights. The reason why I changed it is to honor a friend of mine. Now, about a month ago, just just a little over a month ago, no, actually it was two months ago now, um, a close friend and mentor of mine passed away. His name was Jeremy Bailing. I did a video about it. And, not, sorry, not Jeremy, sorry, Dennis. His dad, Dennis, passed away. And I've been talking back and forth with Jeremy. I've been talking back and forth with... Uh, his, you know, with his brother Chris and a few other people, and I learned a lot about him. I learned a lot about Dennis. I learned the fact that he was in Vietnam. I learned the fact that he was special forces. And I didn't even know this. Um, I learned the fact that the man was Maxog. Yeah, the dude was like tier one Delta Force at the time. What Delta Force would, 
if you are comparing special forces from Vietnam, uh, Korea era, Korea Vietnam era to today, Max Sog is literally Delta. You're talking Delta SAS. You're talking batshit fucking crazy. And the only reason why Max Sog gets recognition now is because of Call of Duty. It's because of Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1, you play as a Maxog operator. And when I found out that he that Dennis was Maxog, I was like, wait, what? What? You know, and it, it was it opened my eyes. And I watched his funeral, his eulogy, uh, online streaming it kind of thing because I couldn't be there in person. And there was a ton, and I mean a ton of, of Vietnam veterans there and some of them even had purple hearts do you have any idea how many purple hearts are awarded let alone especially during Vietnam not that fucking many and the ones that were were, were posthumous which means they died these guys were alive you know and one of them talked about a, a, a time that he and Dennis were doing what they do, being tier one badass oper badass operators, and um, <laughs> talking about how um, Dennis is barking spiders, and if you don't know what that means, that's a reference for farting, um, that his barking spiders were so bad that he could clear out an entire tent. <laughs> And I thought that was a gift just given to, to, to Jeremy, his son. No, he inherited it from his dad. <laughs> and it made me want to learn more. Not necessarily about Max Sog or Special Forces or anything like that. It just made me want to learn more about Dennis and his life and the things I wasn't privy to because I wasn't his son. I'm proud of who my father is. I love my father. I'll do anything to bring my father back. Even if it's for 30 seconds. To hear his voice one last time. See the look of love in his eyes. One last time. To hear him say how proud years of his granddaughter, my daughter, who graduated. Still can't believe that. My daughter's graduated. <laughs> Sad news is I've decided to cut back on my alcohol because I have to now. For health reasons. So my whiskey, the last of my, the last of my Jameson, is sitting in the fridge and I'm going to be polishing it off for Christmas. And then after that, no more alcohol will pass my lips. None. Um, so yeah. And yes, that is a bottle of Malibu uh, over there. No, it's not mine. Uh, I had a guest stay with me for a couple of nights. Uh, that was their bottle of Malibu. <laughs> they needed to uh, de-stress uh, uh, from their work shift. Uh, and they were too tired to spend the hour and a half on the bus to go home so and they were meeting up with their girlfriend uh, here in the town I live in the very next day and I just said to him crash on my bed I'll sleep on the floor and so I did and he showed up with the bottle of Malibu and a bottle of R. White's lemonade and because he likes Malibu and lemonade it's his thing and so he crashed in my in my cot and I slept on the floor and um yeah, we had a few drinks and we talked about our past work life together. Uh, we worked together at Paddy Power, um, Angus, you corny sod. And uh, yeah, so uh, in fact, he was the one that bought me the bottle of Jameson um, as a Christmas gift. So it just got me thinking. And I'm also currently in school. And I'm in school for cybersecurity, but I'm at a crossroads. I want to do 
remote pen testing where I'm I'm here in my office slash bedroom and I'm working. I, I clock in, do my thing, get told hack this website, hack this website, hack this website, and I try it and I do what I can, fill out my report, send it in, get paid. That's what I want to do. It's called remote pen testing. But that area of expertise is becoming flooded market wise. And so I'm having to look elsewhere for what I want to do, maybe even actual physical site pen testing. That means I have to go to the building to try and hack them. So I have to pretend I'm a construction worker, site manager, things of that nature, um, create fake IDs, things of that nature, all legal and above board, of course, uh, with the government's blessing. I love the government. I always want your blessing on everything. Even the in blessings, I take a shit even sometimes. Anyway, neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. Anyway, I am at a bit of a crossroads. And so my Twitch, Ages and Eights, named after my friend Dennis, is to honour him. Um, I recently also found out that there is a unit name similar to that called the, the Lucky Aces uh, in the British Army. Um, didn't know that, that was their, their unit nickname was the Lucky Aces and uh, yeah, they all did the American thing and carried Ace of Spades cards um, apparently it's also where Motorhead got the song Ace of Spades from as well again, didn't know any of this uh, until I started doing a little bit of finger research and not just using Google actually going to the military archives And so, yeah, and my eyes are incredibly blue because I'm incredibly happy uh, talking about Dennis and remembering him and honoring him and being grateful for my subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. It does. Mm. Oh. So I'm having to message a friend from Facebook. Um, also, my um, Deceptive Cobra's Instagram is banned. Um, I'm currently appealing it and I've been trying to appeal it for the past two weeks it just literally says your appeal is being processed that's all it says I've got no feedback I've got no emails I've gotten nothing it just says your appeal is being processed that's it so it looks like I might have to start up a new Instagram and I might name it aces and eights after again my twitch channel things of that nature um what else uh Life has been kind of hard lately, not going to lie. Uh, what I mean by that is um, the job market. Like I said, it's drying up in certain areas and it's flooded in others. Um, and there's really nothing much I can do about it. As, as sucky as it is, there really isn't much I can do about it. And... Well, it's what it is, guys, you know? It's what it is. I'm also thinking about getting LASIK surgery for my eyes so I don't have to wear these anymore. Um, but apparently my optician, optometrist, tells me uh, LASIK won't work for me. I don't know. I'm, I'm not an eye doctor. I'm just some schmuck on the internet that makes uh, vlog videos and you guys seem to love them for some reason. And I don't know why, but you just do, so thank you um again leave a comment down below leave a question if you have any more to answer for the next coffee time thing if you know you know the draw guys literally leave the question down below and i will do my best to answer it in the next coffee time or shoot it to me uh, via discord for us other things things of that nature um i am looking at trying to get back into the swing of streaming at a regular schedule uh but the game or games I'm mostly playing right now. World of Tanks, because then again, I'm, I'm trying to grind out to tier 10 on the EU account. I've got tier 10s on my North American account, but with my current internet, I can't play on the North American servers. My ping is just too ridiculous. I've even tried downloading game something or other, um, which is supposed to streamline your internet connections and stuff, but they want me to pay like fucking 15 quid a month to use that service. I'm like, that makes no sense.
And sorry, Ed Oliver's got a bit of a head cold, so I'm fighting off that. Um, what else? Just general blah, you know? It's, it's, it's winding down, temperature's changing, people's attitudes are changing. And, you know, it is what it is, guys. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to all you subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. Um, when you guys comment, I read them. When you guys have questions, I, re I read them. I try to answer them. Uh, when I stream on Twitch and you guys come out and support me, I greatly appreciate that. When you donate, I greatly appreciate that. When you just show up and talk and ask questions, again, I greatly appreciate that. But, um... Like I said, the games I'm currently streaming on Twitch right now is World of Tanks, because uh, again, I just need to get to tier tens in the EU. In the EU, um, and what else? I was doing Escape from Tarkov um, PVE, but there's something going on with the game, and I don't know what it is. And so I decided to just fucking walk away. And like, you, sorry, Shikita, you've gotten your 250 euros out of me. You ain't getting any more. Fuck off. So I tried that uh, Breakout Arena. Uh, not bad. Do like it. Played a few games. Um, and it's a pain in the ass. That's all I need to say. It's just a pain in the ass. Um, you can't zero your scope, which is ridiculous because there's sniper rifles and stuff with optics. I'm like, so why can't I zero my scope? Hello? Um... And so I play enlisted. So and I've, I think I've got the enlisted frame skip bug sorted. It's not showing up when I record footage, but it is showing up when I try to stream footage. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what the issue is there. Whether it's my rig, I don't think it is, uh, or, or my encoding settings. That's what I think it is. Um, but we'll work on that. We won't. We'll work on that. So, oh, what can I say? Oh, life has been crazy right now. Um, I'm, I think I'm trying to get... I, I, I'm also trying to get my passion back for painting miniatures. Um, I'm not going to be doing it um, competitively or anything like that. So I'm not looking at any Golden Demons or any other competitions or... or Freaking D D D. What is it? It's what it's done in Telford, the IPS International Model IMP. It's there's a thing where you, you can send in bursts and models and statuettes and whatnot, and they get judged and stuff and whatnot. It's in Telford. Uh, I I'm not even looking at doing that. I just I just want to get an entire army completely painted, and that's right now the majority of that would be my Death Guard army. As my Death Guard army has the majority of the miniatures painted and printed. Uh, as you guys know, I do have 3D printers that they're currently hidden behind this chair. But there you go. There's my big printer over there, and there's my small printer. I have two printers. Uh, one's a six inch, one's a nine inch, giggity. And um, so, yeah, I print various things. I even tried to print some Mando body armor parts and that didn't turn out good so i've got to get an fdm printer for that but like i said um i'm, I'm trying to get in back into the swing of painting models i even found my german captured kv2 yeah and i even found my german captured kv1 <laughs> and yes the germans did use to capture soviet vehicles and use them and they hate the T-34. I don't blame them. The T-34 sucks. Yes, that's a bit controversial, but it is true. The T-34 does suck. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I've got models uh, I need to paint and catch up and put together and finish off. And 
all that fun stuff and yes that is the great unclean one right there and that is Mortarion right next to him um, I'm not buying any more models from Games Workshop don't have to don't want to I don't even buy their paints I buy uh, Vallejo or I uh, or I buy what is it on um, the speed paints hang on what is it called it's made by one company um I've got Vallejo and a whole P3 and I buy paints other than Games Workshop because Games Workshop paints are overpriced, the pots are too tiny and yeah, they're too thick. And I mean like dummy mummy thick. And you have to water them down like ridiculously with reducers and gross as well just to get it to flow. So no, no thank you Games Workshop, no thank you. I am not buying your mud, your coloured mud that you like to call paint. Fuck off. Just ain't happening. But it's so smooth. No, it's not actually. It's shit. It's just shit. Anyway, so that's going on. Coffee's almost done actually. Uh, so that's going on in my life and a whole bunch of other things else. So, yeah. Oh, and I also found my um, bolt action vehicle cards. Every bolt action tank I've ever bought, model kit wise, I've ever bought, it comes with a unit card. I found my unit cards. So I'll be able to start working on my bolt action armies. I've got a US Army Airborne, British, uh, British Airborne, uh, German, so many fucking Germans. Um, and that's it. I've I've got some Royal Japanese uh, STL files I haven't printed yet, um, but uh, no Russians. Don't want any. Fuck you, Karl Marx. Fuck you. Fuck you, communism. Not interested. Sorry, but no. Um, what else? Um. Oh, I refound. <laughs> And it's going to sound a bit weird throwing off at the tail end of the video. I refound my faith, um, religious-wise. Yeah, some of you guys have noticed I've been having this this chain around my neck. Yes, there is a crucifix. Yes, I am Christian. Um, but yes, I will. And yes, there are times I will still wear my demon ring. And do they contradict each other? Yes, they do. The reason why I still wear my demon ring is because this was a gift given to me by a late friend who is no longer with us. Uh, I've talked about her in the past. She was my girlfriend at the time. Her name was Delena. She died of sickle cell anemia, a very horrible disease that kills quite a lot of black people uh, or African American or, or African British or whatever you want to call it. Um, it kills a lot of colored people, people of color. Uh, it is a very horrible, horrible disease. And uh, I really wish that there was a cure for it. I really do. And I miss her very, very much. I do miss her. Um, hopefully, here in a few weeks, I'll be meeting up with some old unit army, some old unit army buddies. Um, they've got a ca veterans camping thing, and I recently found out that a couple of mates from the same company I was in go to there, and uh, hopefully we can, I can go camp with them, relax, chill, get away from the city I'm in, go outside, touch grass, you know. Be one with nature and all that shit. Excuse me. So this coffee is literally done. So you know what that means, guys. That means the video is done. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Stay safe. Stay sexy. Till then, keep chest flying. Keep your enemies dying. Cover Commander is out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, guys.